Hey guys, and welcome to Shattered Pixel Dungeon with me, Time and Tactics. Let's uh, jump into our current game. We're in level four, but you know what? There's something I want to look at here. Now, I think I saw a comment about this. Let's go to our journal. And if we look at, where was it? Here, landmarks. The, I have never played before. So anyway, this is level one. There is a sacrificial fire there, which I can't remember seeing, but anyway... And then level two, well of health. We're in level four now, right? So should we go check that out again? Because right now I'm starving, right? So we're slowly losing hit points here. I think I want to do that because I don't have any potion of healing. So instead of going down here, let's go up to three. This is level three. Let's go to level two and find that. Where is that at, by the way? Did I go down to the chest? I did not because of this thing here. Was that, what was that again? Animated statue, that's the one there. Okay, yep, yep, I see it. Let's go back up right there. Let's do that, I can probably select. Yep, sure enough. Oh, there's a rat, okay. Well, I guess I can wait, it's just, what do you do, uh, space, yeah. He's gonna come in here, we're gonna take him out. We have a 10, maybe I should've gone to the door. Yeah, because I took two damage. I should have done that. Okay, well, anyway, we'll go up here. A null. Okay, now we'll go back to the door. There, we'll wait here. So I guess we're getting random monsters spawned. Oh, we are now... Wait a minute. Did we have something we could have done before? Maybe. Uh, as far as upgrades. Probably. So, tier one. And tier two. We've taken these with the yellow dot. Hearty meal. When we eat, we heal for two hit points when we're below 50, and three when we're below 25. Okay. Yep, that's that one. And we did this one as well. Veterans Intuition plus one. The warrior identifies weapons faster. And then this one, if you've done two of them, the max shield provided by the warrior's seal is increased by two. I'm not even using it. It's over here. Uh, no, the seal is on here. I think that's that red one. I'm thinking of the stylus. I haven't used that. Then here, tier two, what do we have? Iron Stomach. Eating food takes the warrior one turn and grants him 75% damage resistance while eating. I don't know how useful that is. Restored Willpower. Drinking a potion of healing instantly recharges 60% of the shielding from the warrior's broken seal. Okay. Hmm. How does that work, really? I haven't actually looked into that. 67% of the shielding from the broken seal. If we look at that, let's look at that here. Uh, yeah. The warrior's broken seal is attached to this armor, providing him up to three shielding. And how, how does that work with this one? Recharges 67% of the shielding from the broken warrior's broken seal. So it takes damage and then recharges, I guess, faster. This, this talent also triggers when drinking potions or uh, elixirs based on potions of healing. And then we have what? Uh, runic transference. Plus one, the warrior's broken seal can transfer regular glyphs in the same way it transfers an upgrade. You know, that seal I haven't looked into much. I need to look into that. Well, we'll look at the into that later, I guess. Lethal momentum. When a well, the warrior lands a killing blow with a physical weapon, it's a 67% chance to take zero turns is super fast so you can go again let's upgrade this one that's all i can do okay all right now let's go back over here i don't want to run into anybody we are gaining hit points here that plus two is what we're gaining right and then we're losing at the same time from starving i think this is how i'm reading it anyway we're on level three right now we should go to level two well of healing. Right, let's look at the journal again. Well of health. Well of health. I cannot select it. I have to find it. Mm. Now, well of health. Is there a well of health here? This one. I feel I should spend some time. I don't want to die just searching around. What is that? Yeah, there it is. God. Okay. 
power of health radiates from the water of this well. Take a sip to heal you and satisfy your hunger. Okay, now, now this is much better. Whoever put that note in there, thank you. Let's head on down. Now we're gonna have to go back down, so it takes a while. So it's gonna eventually, eventually, it will be counterproductive because we will spend so much time doing that. Did he see me? He may not have. Nope. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Where are they going? It disappeared. Okay. We'll go down. Here we are. Uh, unspent talent points. Oh, we have unspent ones? Oh, level... Wait. I cannot get this one. Plus two. I can get a single one. No, I can get a level one. Yeah. Do I want to save that? For this one? Test subject. Plus one, whenever the warrior identifies an item, he heals for two. I haven't actually identified anything. It doesn't seem like you would do that there often, right? Now, identifying an item. I think the way it works is if I put that, uh, what was this, a uh, male armor on, then eventually I will identify it. I can put it on now. I don't have enough strength, though, so it's going to make me slower, so I don't want to do that. But that talent... I can get one more, I guess, up here. I can identify weapons faster and armor when he equips it. Maybe I did want to put it on. But I am so far away from having 10 in strength, right? I mean, 14 in strength. So maybe we'll leave it. Because I can't do these level 2, tier 2 ones. Okay. Okay, let's go down in the meantime. We'll, we'll wait. We can maybe get one more experience. And then we'll see if I can do it with tier two. Nothing here. Well, by, by the way, something I haven't done, which I realized, is I can go in here. If I go back down here, I can go to examine. Press a tile to examine or press again to search. So I can just click on wall. Nothing interesting. Yeah, I can do that. What? That's E. So I can just select... Floor, nothing interesting. And if you think there is like a hidden door, then that's that's the way to do it. Or something like that. Okay, there's a crab over there. Examine. If I check it, what is that? A sad ghost? The ghost is barely visible. It looks like a shapeless spot of faint light with a sorrowful face. Yeah, it's not going to be pretty, I don't think. E? What is this one? Sewer crab. Right, extremely fast, but we did take care of them. What if we wait just a turn? That's asleep. Oh, there, wait. What's this here? Slime. Slimes are strange, slightly magical creatures with a rubbery outer body and liquid core. The city sewers provide them with an ample supply of water and nutrients. Because of their elastic outer membrane, it is difficult to deal more than six damage to slimes from any one attack. Probably still okay. Now, we have two spears here. It's not going to work on that ghost, is it? The ghost may not move, though. Right, it's not asleep. Let's see if I go up here. Okay, it is moving. Yep, never mind. It's pretty slow. I moved twice, it moved once. So let's wait here. I don't know, am I going to make it here with this ghost coming through the door? Is it coming through the door? It is. They're asleep still. That worked out. I should have gone down here, actually, to make sure there's no noise, they don't come. But let's see. Oh, it's that ghost. Hello, warrior. Once I was like you, strong and confident, but I was slain by an ancient creature. I can't leave this place. Not until I have my revenge. Slay the great crab that has taken my life. It is unnaturally old, with a massive single claw and a thick shell. Beware its claw. You must surprise a crab or you'll block with it. Okay. Please help me. Slay the crustacean. Okay. <clears throat> How do I do that? Now, if you look at the items, maybe something to do with the items. So, E, this one. Dried rose. Um, Some spiritual power, maybe. Now, what about in my bag here? 
Major Royal. It contains a chemical, uh, no, which, which is known for its properties as a strong neutralizing agent. I don't think I need that. This one, Seed of Blindweed. Disorient for several seconds, nothing really there. Sort of intuition. This one is just for help me find out what something is. I can guess and it will preserve it. If I don't guess right, it's not going to preserve it, right? So it won't be, it won't be useful in that sense. Hmm. If you don't surprise it. Well, what did it say? Surprise, right? That means I want to come down here, not sleep. Sleep is up there. I could try to throw a fishing spear at it twice. Let it come down here, surprise it. But it's behind the... there. It's not going to work. What if I sneak up here? It's going to find me. Nope. Wait, the giant crustacean? It's not this one. There's something else. It's these here, not these. It's my guess. <clears throat> it's behind this locked door. That's what I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. He's asleep. Okay, well... There. And... Yeah, I should have done... I should have gone behind the door. Closed it. It didn't close this time. There's food down there. Great. 2 XP. Great. Great news. Okay. So what do we have now? Did I get anything else? Nope. Nothing there. It's looking good. 108 gold. There's more gold. First I'm going to go down. Oh, wait. That's what we need to get right there. And we don't pick up automatically if there is an enemy close by. 94 gold and food. All that gold. What am I going to do with that gold? Hopefully we can find a way to use it. Now... These are still asleep. I have two spears. If I throw it there. No, wait, not yet. Well, okay. <laughs> I said and did I uh, threw it anyway. It did work. It worked. So uh, it's a little bit damaged. Not much. Oh. Shoot. Okay, wait a minute now, wait a minute. I can go back in here, but that's not going to help me. Well, it will help me if I go here, because there will only be one there to attack me, not two. Because this one here, I don't want, didn't check it, but great, oh, there it is. The great crab. Gigantic, even compared to other sewer crabs. Its blue shell is covered in cracks and barnacles, showing great age. It lumbers around slowly, barely keeping balance with its massive claw. While the crab only has one claw, its size easily compensates. The crab holds the claw in front of any threat, shielding itself behind an impenetrable wall of carapace. However, the crab cannot block attacks it doesn't see coming, or attacks on multiple enemies at once. Hmm. Mage Royal. Nope. I don't have much, right? Blindweed? Disorient. Maybe I need this one. Because if I do this one, then he can be disoriented. He won't see me coming. Maybe it will work that way. It's too bad. He's going to come around here before I take this guy out. That stupid slime. Okay. Let me go ahead and uh, attack him, though. What do we do here? 1 to 10 damage. Max 6 on the slime, though. 4. Now he saw me. Come on. Die quick. Good. I can throw the plant here, I'm thinking. Which one? Blindweed. Because if I throw it in his path, he's going to come on top of it, and then he's going to get that flash of lightning. I'm thinking. Let's do that. Throw the seed to the place where you want to grow a plant. Blinded and crippled. Okay, now he's here. If he's blinded and crippled, there, blinded and crippled. If I attack him now, well, he's going to come close. I'm going to do the spear first. Blocked. He's still blocking. No, oh, there's the ghost. He's blinded and crippled. I can't do anything. You heard that clank. Hmm. If I get close now, three damage. Blocked. You go down here. 
I get one shot at it, right? That's all I get. Because he's going to be surprised here, and then... Well, maybe I can spin around. He seems slow. Let me wait here. So, space. Now he's leaving. He never came down here. Okay, okay. So, let's see. Nope, not here. So, you go behind the door. If I open this now, he's gone. Okay, I got one spear back. Only one, though. There he is now. He left. Um... I can't throw that. He's going to block it no matter what there. And I used up my blind seed. Well, the only thing I could do is... If there was a door here, I could have run around in circles around him. Otherwise, I have two doors to block. There's one guy here. He's not going to be... Well, maybe what I'll do is I'll lead him down here because I could run around the stairs maybe. If I'm faster, I can get away from him again. Let's go down here. Yep, this guy is fast. This guy is not as fast. No, he's not as fast. The ghost, what are you doing here? I always block when it sees you coming. Yeah, I... Hmm. And there's one there. Great. Look at down one. Oh, he saw me. Kill him. Okay. Killed. Now we're going to be in trouble. He's slow. Yeah, he's slow. Definitely slow. Come on. Dodge. Okay, good. Now we're going to head down. So what I can do is... I'll go down here. There. He's going to come now, right? If you wait one more round, we'll space bar that. Yep, he's slow. So we'll go over here. Door's going to close. We'll wait. You open the door? Yep. That's how we do it. So now we go over here. Wait. Ooh, now it's a problem. Don't need that slime here. Oh, come on. I'm going to die from this. Nope, I made it. Okay. Oh. Okay, yep, yep. I know it will always... We'll wait. We'll always um, block. Okay, out there and wait. There. If I can go upstairs, I can always get healing, right? So let's go back in here. Maybe circle around real quick. There. I'm going to die. Okay, we'll go down here. He's going to block again, but I'm going to go... Wait, if I go in here... No, I'll wait. There. Yep. Oh, I don't need that guy. Okay, now we're in trouble. This could be it. Five hit points left. Hunger we don't care about. I can get one free swing in on him. Will I kill him? I don't think so. I think there's going to be a little bit left. This could be it. If I go here... I have nothing to do in it. I can eat. It doesn't help. I can cast a spell. Scroll. Scroll or potion. I don't know what it is. I mean, obviously, right? If I drink it... Yeah, we'll drink it. <laughs> I defeated them. What was it? What was this thing? Potion of Liquid Flame. It was a good one. Unstable compound. Burst violently to flame. So I need to have something to protect myself to do that. This one here? Potion of Levitation. Oh, it traps and pits. Wouldn't have helped, right? And then this one? Potion of Strength. Ah, permanent increase in your strength by one point. That's what I wanted, right? We have some Potion of Haste. Hmm. I should have done... Use these, if I'd known about them. Scroll of Recharging. Yep. And we have Scroll of Upgrade. Upgrade of an item. 
and then scroll of mirror image. Yep, that would have been good too. Okay, well, 100% dried rose. Some spiritual power. Well, anyway, that was the game. I made it down to level four, and this, you know, by this game, you know, the first time around, you're not going to make it all the way. But anyway, hopefully you liked it. And uh, yeah, it's out there. Right now, I think it's on sale on uh, Shadow Pixel Dungeon, uh, on Steam, I mean, right now. So anyway, I'll catch you guys later in the next video. Bye.